In an age where everyone owns a smartphone, if you do something stupid behind the wheel, there's a good chance it's going to be filmed. That's what happened to 21-year-old Jack Maffasoni. Not surprisingly, he wasn't happy to see our cameras. Fast, furious and facing justice. It just takes that one split second and that happens. So someone could have died. Yeah, could have. Now petrol head Jack has blown a gasket. You want me to shove it up? Jack, don't. Look, there's no need to act that way. Oh, harassment. That's where I landed on the ground, just sleep. Do you think these drag meets can get out of hand? Oh, of course. And if you thought that was bad, just wait till you see what some hoons in the area are doing. We caught the notorious Northern Skids car gang wreaking havoc on Melbourne suburbs after dark. <laughs> She was a good kid. You know, a lot of people adored her. She made a mistake to get in the car. She didn't deserve to die. Attending a Northern Skids event cost Mary's daughter, Ivana, her life. The 18-year-old was a passenger in this car. Police said her boyfriend was drag racing at 160 kilometres when he plunged off the bridge. They died instantly. Mary lives with the pain every day. My daughter never thought it would happen to her. The person that was driving probably didn't think it would happen to him. You always think it will happen to somebody else, but you're t just taking a risk. Now we can reveal the hoon who baited Ivana's boyfriend into the race, Adem Apache, is considering an appeal. It's like continuous knives going through your heart, you know? The current affair went undercover following these rev heads as they transformed quiet streets into their playground. <laughs> Hundreds gather around watching this driver perform burnouts. They come frighteningly close to losing control. One bystander decides to show off, hitting the back of a car as it spins out. This is what happens when things go awfully wrong. A car attempts a burnout but collides with the crowd. This hoon revs his engine before darting into the ring. Spectators hear sirens, police have arrived and they flee. Chaos as this once quiet street is now a traffic jam, with hoons trying to get out as fast as they can. We're fed up with it and we definitely want to stamp it out. Acting Inspector Troy Papworth says Victoria Police know who are attending these illegal street meets and for them it's just a matter of time. My message to reckless drivers is if you continue to involve yourself in this sort of behaviour, you'll be identified, you'll be arrested and you'll be charged. It's dangerous activity, it puts people's lives in danger. I like being on a racetrack at 11 o'clock at night uh, and it just echoes through the room. So it gets louder as they're doing the drags up and down the road. And it goes until go about three in the morning. Arthur and Peter live on a popular Hoon Highway. They say every Friday night, dozens of high-powered cars drag down this 80 zone. You've got a turbocharged four-cylinder screaming its ring out. Yeah, it gets loud. <laughs> well, I've rung the police and they don't seem to have the facilities to send them down here. And, um, well, I did threaten to throw bricks at them, but that didn't get a very good response from Triple O. Well, I'm 70 years of age. I don't need this stuff. Jack Mavisoni is the young man charged with numerous traffic offences after this incident, leaving a legal car enthusiast meet-up. It's alleged he was doing a burnout and drove straight into Nesip Tali. The 32-year-old held on for dear life for almost 150 metres. Yeah, he was coming straight towards me. He was either get hit by the side of the car, end up underneath the car, or end up on a bonnet. 21-year-old Jack is now facing the music with his mum and girlfriend by his side. Go Were you, right? Were you in the car? car? Yeah, I, yeah, I was. Do the police know that? Ask them. Can you leave him alone, please? Just take 
You want me to shove it up your He's there waiting in the line. He's facing charges including conduct endangering life and failing to render assistance. Do you feel yeah. bad? Oh, of course I do. I did not intend it for it to go that way. How did you intend for it to go? Definitely not like that. Why would you drive at that speed when he's on your windscreen? At what speed? I looked incredibly shocked. fast. It was shocking. Do you want to say sorry for what you've done? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's why he's here. Dearly sorry. Genuinely remorseful? Yeah. It honestly feels like someone reaches into your chest and rips out your heart and it's just empty. Chelsea and Tony Morrissey lost their daughter Ashley in a horrific drag racing accident where her boyfriend was driving. Never really want to wish it upon anybody. You know, especially when it wasn't any fault of her own. He wasn't thinking about my daughter, he was thinking about himself. They know we can never rid our roads of thrill-seeking drivers. A possible solution to get them off suburban streets, however, is creating more supervised registered events with police presence. There's nights that are planned that are in a controlled environment for people to take their cars or their bikes or whatever down. Um, and have races with their friends or with other people. All the cars go through scrutineering. Everyone's got their safety gear on, their helmets, their race suits, their roll cages, all that kind of stuff. So if something does go wrong, ambulance is on site. It's all sorted out nice and quickly. Paul Sierra from Radial Life organises legal drag racing events. At the end of the day, if you're going to do the wrong thing, the police are definitely going to find about it. Everyone's got a smartphone, everything gets caught. I just don't want the parent or family to go through what I've been through. These people that are speeding slow down and that they realise this could happen to them. Yeah. Or it could happen to an innocent person and they've got to live with that. Will you be giving up your licence? And you can now yeah, give us some sure. space now, thank you. That, we'll that's a yes? Yes, I'd rather have it all dealt with because it's not the person I am. What happened, I'm extremely sorry for it and I don't wish it upon anyone else ever again. Jack Maffasoni returns to court next month.